We started our work on the Pascal's Triangle by boxing all the numbers and looking at them individually. We then colored all the odds red and all the evens blue. We noticed it made a pattern with the colors, so we tried to create a key for a mod 4 with a similar type of pattern. So we decided to make red to equal to 1, blue equal to 2, green equal to 3, and black equal to 0. So with this key, let's see if we can build a triangle. We're going to start with red, and that creates red and red. And with red, you do red plus red, which will give you blue. And now, with, then you add red on the other side, and it'll be red plus blue when you go down two spaces to go to green. That will give you green, because then if you go blue plus red, it will give you green also. So basically, this is what our mod 4 triangle would have looked like had we have kept adding colors according to our key that we created earlier. So here's what you just saw, our base 4 Pascal's triangle just zoomed out. And there will be base 3, and base 2, and base 5, base 6, and even base 7. After looking at a bunch of different bases, we noticed immediately that base 7 was very interesting. If you notice, there are 7 smaller triangles going down both sides and across the bottom. Each of these individual smaller triangles were also all made up of seven individual dots or numbers down each of their sides and across the bottom as well. What we were noticing was that the smaller triangle provides a map for the bigger triangle. Also that this triangle will represent how the even bigger triangle is formed. We can see this by the blue dot followed by two green dots in the smallest triangle, which are then represented by these three triangles here. All of the triangles inside this triangle are represented by all the other triangles. For example, notice this blue triangle. It is represented right here. At this point, we were questioning why exactly this was happening. We ended up realizing that these special patterns only happen with prime number bases. Notice when I switch to base 5, it still has that same repetition where the bigger triangles represent the smaller triangles from the previous layer. Notice even 3 follows a strict guideline of repetition started asking why only the primes did this. Notice how there's a full row of black after a full triangle develops. This row of black is always a row base to the n plus 1, where n is the sequential row you're looking for. For example, if we wanted the third full black row in base 3, it would be row 3 to the third plus 1, which would be the 28th row. We then realize that every number can and eventually will show up in Pascal's triangle because on the outer edges you always add 1. On our prime to the nth row, it always sets up in a mod 1, then mod prime minus 1 alternating pattern. This then ensures all the row below, excluding the outer edges, will have a modulus of 0, thus creating the full black rows. For example, let's take the 3 to the 3rd row of base 3. If we go to the 27th row, the dots in the row alternate between 1 and 2, which is 3 minus 1. And adding the two mods together give us 3, and 3 mod 3 is 0, which is black. Since the outer edges are always 1, the base to the end plus 1 row will begin to form new triangles, allowing the pattern to continue. What essentially happens is that they make new Pascal's triangles. When we started to look at base 6, at first it looked jumbled and without a real pattern. However, when we switched to base 3, we noticed there were some similarities. For example, look at all the black space on base 6. It is all there on base 3. The more we looked at them, the more we noticed a unique pattern on the lower part of base 6. Specifically, that pattern directly comes from base 2. They are the exact same thing, just have different colors. We then hypothesized that base 6 was just a mix of base 2 and base 3 superimposed on each other, which makes sense because 2 and 3 are both factors of 6. To the left are our color rules to build the triangle in base 2, base 3, and base 6. We took this orange dot in base 6 and noticed that it turns to red in base 3. This happens because in base 6, orange is 4 mod 6, and in base 3, it becomes 4 mod 3, which is 1 which is red. If we take that same dot in base 6, it turns black in base 2. 
This is because that orange dot in base 6 is 4 mod 6, and when we switch to base 2, it becomes 4 mod 2, which is 0, which is black. In the end, Pascal's triangle showed us many different patterns, and tend to repeat itself quite often. Our main discoveries had to do with how different mods interacted with each other, especially with the prime numbers.